The spike stitch is a fun and easy way to add a little bit more texture to your work. It's great to use uh, with a contrast color because it almost looks like you're doing a really complicated color work, but it's actually quite easy. It also produces a very nice, dense, thick fabric, so it's great for something you want to make if you need in some extra padding, like a sunglasses case or maybe a tablet case or something like that. To begin, I am just going to, I have a few rows of single crochet here. I'm just going to work a couple of single crochets to get into the fabric a little bit. So the only thing you need to do when you're working a spike stitch is to work instead of into the stitch that's coming up next, you're going to work into the rows below that stitch. So for a one spike stitch, you're going to work one row below. So again, instead of working into that stitch, we're going to work into the row below and work all the way around that top row. And I'm just working a single crochet around that top row. So as you can see, this new stitch is literally spiking down into the work and that's where it gets its name spike stitch. So if you were to do this row in a different color, you'd have this really great dimension and this great color work going on with your contrast color. I'm gonna do another single crochet here and then I'll do another spike stitch again into one row below. Just working a single crochet over that last row. So now you can see I've created two spike stitches here in the work. A spike stitch doesn't just have to go one row below, you could go two rows below. When you're working these you need to make sure to keep your tension nice and loose otherwise it will start to kind of pucker and bunch up this fabric but so you can see this spike stitch now goes two rows below, whereas these two are just one row. And it's fun to play around with the different lengths of the spike stitches. If you wanted to, and you're using a, a second contrast color, it would create some really nice effects. But this is the spike stitch. As you can see, we're now adding, by doing these, an extra layer of yarn on the front of the fabric and on the back. So that's what gives it its really nice cushiony padding kind of feel. There you have the spike stitch.